We are going to take a still image of a car, animate it across the screen, and add streaks behind it. First, let's bring in our images of the car. It is a smart car. We have two images. One is of the uh, car itself, and the other is of a tune rendered, a cartoon style render of the car. You'll see these in a minute. They're both very large to allow us to uh, show them very large in our project if we so wished. So we're going to scale and move the uh, cars, or the two images together in tandem. To speed that up, let's just parent the tune one to the main one. Hit S for scale. Shrink it down. There we go. That should be about right. Now if you want to see the tune image, it's very hard to see. So let's just turn it to add mode. And if you have something that's made up of very fine lines like this, you can see it better by turning it to uh, by giving it the add mode and duplicating it. So let's command D. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's a render using uh, a tune shader in Cinema 4D. Now, just so that we don't have all these layers to be concerned with in our uh, in our situation here, we'll precompose them into one composition. So let's select them all. Let's choose layer, precompose, and call it tune precomp. We don't need to open the new composition. Uh, when you choose more than one layer, you automatically have move all attributes into the new composition. For more details, check the help. Boom. Okay, so there's the tune precomp. Now all of the layers inside that precomp were parented to the smart left uh, .tga image. However, this comp itself isn't, so we need to reparent it. This way now when we move the smart left image, the tune render goes with it. Let's put the tune on top and set it to add mode. You have to do that. All the layers inside were set to add mode. The comp the new pre-comp did not add automatically get set to add mode. Boom, there we go. Tune layers, lines on top of the car. Let's just set this to fit. Good, okay. So let's move our car off screen. Yep, oh, wrong. Select the smart left. Let's just lock the pre tune pre-comp for now. Okay, there we go. Where, let's say we want to go to here, hit the position keyframe, go to here, hold down shift as we drag. Now note if you release, you should start dragging, then hold down shift. See I'm holding down shift now and nothing's happening, so I need to drag and then hold down shift. That's After Effects for you. Vroom. There's our car animating, very nice. And the tune precomp, because it's set to add mode, goes with it. Okay, rock and roll. Fit up to 100%. Uh, no, let's go back to 50. Okay, now we want to see streaks behind this car. Let's use the echo effect. We could apply it just to the smart left.tga car, and let's try that. Effect. <laughs> time echo and we get this we don't see any echoes no matter how high we set the number of echoes to because the echo effect does not see a moving car it sees smartleft.tga which is a still image echo needs to be applied to a movie a composition that includes some animation inside it or it needs to be applied as an adjustment layer above an animated layer. We have nothing like that here, so let's get going and make some. So get rid of the echo effect. Boom. And let's add an adjustment layer. Layer, new, whoop, layer, new, adjustment layer. And to that, let's apply effect echo. It's still here because it's the last effect we did. Echo, and now we see some echoes. That's because the adjustment layer looks down and it sees what it thinks is a movie. 
That is the moving smartleft.tga and tune precomp. Let's add some more echoes. 10. And then as we animate, we see an echo effect. The echo just copies previous frames. If you have this set to a negative number, it'll copy the frames that have Actually, I guess they'd be uh, antecedent? No. Uh, anyway, it copies frames that have already already existed. If you set it to a uh, positive number, it'll copy the frames that are in front of the car, and so you'll have an echo in front of the car, which is not intuitive, so use a negative number. This negative number in seconds indicates the gap between these echoes. Let's make that smaller, so let's try uh, 1, 6, 7, which is half of the other number. See, they move closer. Now the gap between echoes is smaller because we made this a smaller negative number. If that number were zero, there'd be no gap. Number of echoes is 10, fine for now. Uh, now, the echo operator add means that each successive frame is added to the next one, thus getting brighter and brighter. Now we don't want the echo applied to the uh, green car, we want it only applied to the tune precomp. Now the adjustment layer is applying its effect to everything below it, so let's pull out the smartleft.tga and move it above the adjustment layer. There we go. Now you'll see the tune layer is echo, 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 echoed behind the green car. Let's click the adjustment layer, give us a few more echoes. That's good. Now we want a bit of a decay here, more so than what we see, so let's reduce the number of the decay here to, well, 0.92. Add is okay, but we don't have the streak effect. Luckily, because uh, we are moving straight across the screen, we can just apply a directional blur. So make sure your adjustment layer is selected, and let's apply effect, blur and sharpen, directional blur. And we don't see anything. Well, hold down shift, and grab the angle so that it goes straight to 90 degrees and then we adjust the blur length now we're starting to get something there streaks okay streaks applied uh, the direction of blur is applied after the echo effect and we get streaks see how that looks with a RAM preview because the echo is rendering all these extra frames it does take uh, a little bit longer than you might expect in order to uh, get something done. Now if you want the streaks to be longer you would increase the number of echoes. Uh, if you wanted the streaks to sort of not move with the car, if you wanted them to hang around a little longer so that the car goes by and then the streaks slowly follow along at a slower speed than the car, one way to do that is to animate the number of echoes so that you start off maybe with, uh, well let's try it, let's try to start with echoes, 80, 18, sorry, and let's hit U, there we go, and let's make it longer to maybe, until we actually see them, make it more 200, which is a lot, Let's increase the, the decay slightly. That's more like that. Okay. So now the echoes are stretching out behind the car. More echoes are appearing. This might look good. This might look bad. Let's see what it looks like. Now we're adding more and more and more. It could look better. It looks a little goofy. Another way around this is to stretch the uh, the tune layer. Have the anchor point of the tune layer right at the front so that as you stretch it out, as you animate its stretch, it'll stretch in this direction and it won't stretch out the front as well. If you had the anchor point of the tune layer in the center, it would stretch out both ways and you don't want that. You just want it to stretch out the back. That's another way of lengthening these uh, streaks. Let's leave them as they were. Okay, that's great.